It's one of the most dangerous cities in the world. A place of lawless suburbs and impoverished settlements controlled by urban gangs or rascals. Crime, rape, reflects the quality of the sort of leaders we have. Papua New Guinea's capital, Port Moresby, is the ideal setting for the spread of AIDS, an epidemic fueled by violence, unsafe sex and prostitution. They come out from the settlements. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a, it's a very big threat, you know. If we have uh, young girls hanging around, uh, the risk of them uh, getting HIV, AIDS, is, is very high. Papua New Guinea is sliding towards a disaster, an epidemic of African proportions. It's estimated there are 100,000 people infected so far. Proportionally, that's 20 times the level in Australia. Unless effective action is taken to halt the disease, the country's in danger of losing its next generation and PNG's already faltering economy could be destroyed. Australia may have to take the fallout. Tonight on Four Corners, we examine the epidemic on our doorstep and investigate how sorcery and grinding poverty, gang culture and a big man mentality are making AIDS a frightening reality in Papua New Guinea. The alarming problem for PNG is that it has one of the fastest growing infection rates in the world. To understand why, you have to come to the settlements and suburbs like Gerahu. Here male attitudes towards sex are at the heart of this rapid transmission. Gerahu used to be a decent suburb in Port Moresby, but now the outer areas are controlled by the 585 Rascal Gang. The police rarely venture into these streets. <laughs> Unemployment is rife and crime is the major occupation. Nothing to do. We just day and night we just do ladies like play cards and roam around in the streets smoking marijuana and nothing nothing good in our community. No common services. So we still the same old life we're doing it. Every day and night. <laughs> These men are members of the 585 gang. And like many people in this program, they didn't use their real names. In rascal gangs, it's a sign of status to have many sexual partners. They haven't had an AIDS educator in these streets. And these men believe condoms aren't essential in the fight against AIDS. Sometimes I don't trust them, I use condom. Sometimes I trust them, I use flesh to flesh. Flesh to flesh, yeah. what's flesh to flesh? It's like, uh, like, meat to meat. Meat to meat. Like, without using any uh, protection here. Yeah. How do you know they don't have AIDS or HIV? Yeah, that's the, that's the main question that <laughs> we can't answer to you. <laughs> they also believe that it's the women who are more likely to spread the disease. Fluid coming out from the woman. from the woman. So 110 percent yeah. women easily get AIDS. Then men are. Yeah, men are 95 percent. So women are 90, uh, 100 percent. 110 percent. 110 percent. That's 10 percent extra. Yeah. Uh, there's some young red cars there. The next day, they took us to the scene of some of their crimes. This place is a main car park. I doubt. 
boys still cars come put change plate numbers. They go rope and they come back to the cars here. The system just like failed us, you know, just dropped us out. And plus, uh, because our parents not working, and so uh, we uh, we uh, we have to uh, tend to crime. So it's like a revenge on the system. Yeah, like it's yeah, more or less a revenge. Huh? Yeah. But it's more to do with uh, our day-to-day survival. Part of the rascal gang culture is sexual violence. When these men do a carjacking, a house break-in or an armed robbery, rape can be part of the crime. Have you raped girls? Yeah. Why? Because to show off. To show off? Yeah. To show that you're a big man? No, girls. To show off to the girls? You rape them? To show off to them? Yeah, to show off. But uh, what, to show that you're a man or...? Sometimes... Boys, you know, they drink, drink uh, they walk around, they see a girl, or they go to a house, a red house, when they see a Breaking mother and or a girl, they just get them up, rip them up, something like that. And does everyone do this, most people? Yeah, Pamunin is most. Why do you think they do it? Why? I don't know. All the Morgan served five years in jail, not for the rape, but for armed robbery. Most of the men in this part of Gerahu have served time inside. Prison is a high-risk setting for HIV that also threatens the communities they come back into. That it's like, it's hard life. You must be strong in mind. Sometimes you get worried. Oh. Sometimes no food. Sometimes people you know, put knife in, oh. men to men, like this. So they have men to men sex, or yeah. whatever? Yeah, I've been through, through that. You've been raped? Yeah. A man ro- tried to... No, no. <laughs> I, I've been doing this to some, you know, boys. Oh, you did it to other yeah, boys? other boys. Yeah. Did you wear a condom when you did it? No. I mean, do you think that men have sex with men? Are they gay or not? Some, some are not gay. Some are like normal men. A third of all women in PNG have been subject to sexual assault. The girls of Gerahu not only have to battle poverty, but also the sexual violence that surrounds them. Ray lives in these makeshift houses with 20 of her relatives. There is no electricity or water here. And the family gets by on a few dollars a day. Ray's neighbour was gang raped recently, but she says her family protects her. Sometimes, like we old knives or things like that, or fight against them to protect ourselves. Or dead and them, we chase them away. Chase, because we got plenty of boys there to, they, they to chase those boys away. Talking openly about sex in PNG has been taboo. Ray and her friends say the boys don't use condoms. They'd like to know how to use female condoms so they could protect themselves. But girls, they're scared to use the girls' condom oh, no. sometimes. <laughs> Some of them, they don't, they don't know how to use the condom. So they're scared to use it. Sometimes they don't use it, girls. Why are they scared? Because they're shy? Or? No, no, it's, 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 it's like it will go in and just stay there. Stay it will come back. Sometimes, yeah, that's true. What she's saying is true. So you think it'll just get stuck? Yeah. It's hard to explain to you because it's girl stuff. But it's not just the broken down communities in Port Moresby that are the breeding grounds for AIDS. It's also the bars and brothels that cater for the top end of town. It's been confirmed to Four Corners that at least two members of the National Parliament